So, why do you want the transfer to the paranormal investigation team, eh? I want to challenge myself. Enrolling myself with the Pitts Academy seemed the best way forward. So this has got nothing to do with the fact that your parents were murdered by a pack of werewolves 15 years ago. That isn't in my file. Look, I'm on it, okay? I'm sorry, I don't mean to pressure you, it's just, this means a lot to me, you know? Give me five minutes, right? Thank you. You're sure they won't catch you? <laughs> you never have yet. I reached out to a friend for help. Friend, eh? And this friend wouldn't happen to be Martin Carmichael, would it? Well, bring him in. Oh, and uh, thank you for the recommendation. You are unbelievable. I need this, okay? Just a couple of hours away from... Maya, Maya, please don't... I can see you, Maya Hedges. Oh, I can see almost straight through here. I want you to help me. I've got a little riddle I'd like you to solve. And if you're a good girl, who knows? Maybe, is it Martin? Martin might actually live. Maya, Maya, please don't. Citizen, present ID. ID cleared. Have a nice day, Maya Hedges. <laughs> Bunny rabbit bit. Promise me, if we ever get married, we'll use traditional vows. <laughs> well, I'll have you know that if I wrote my own vows, they'd be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> yes, vows written in computer code would be very romantic and not <laughs> incomprehensible at all. If, open bracket, I equals do, close bracket, Set variable. <laughs> Wife equals Maya. Will you marry me? Come on, Maya, let's not do this. Just I'm now. serious. I mean, you make me happy. You make me laugh. You make a great team. I don't want to be your sidekick. Lewis. Here. Jackie Connell. Here. Ian Fraser Willis. Here. Ash Winters. Here. Martin Carmike. Sorry, uh, force of habit. Hedges. Here. Grace McKenzie. Here, sir. Good. So, thank you to all of you who helped stay up late with me last night to look for Officer Carmichael. You know we'd do the same for you, eh? So, the SCSI report has arrived. And it looks like we'll be doing some good, old-fashioned police work for a change. So, today is all about it. Looks like the story's broken, sir. What polis? No PR! People are afraid, Commander. Oh, for God's sake. All right, get on with it. Grace McKenzie. 
Uh, yeah. Can I just um, take your full name? Hello, Alexis. No, Alexis, don't! Get away from me! I thought you'd want to... I thought you'd want to see me. Zoe? Yeah, Zoe. You're supposed to be working the phone bank. So are you. I know, and the sooner we can both get back there, the better. I don't know how you can bear to just sit and do nothing. Martin's life is in danger right now. We're waiting for the results of the Police Scotland database search. It's pointless That database has nothing in it, and you know it. But there's at least one person out there who might know who You're not. You can't just drop in on her unannounced. Watch me. Besides, we're not allowed out in the field without a partner. Basic procedure. Yeah, well, my partner's been kidnapped, hasn't he? Look, I've got to do something. Anything. Well, at least wait for me to get my hat. Thank you for seeing me at such short notice, Your Grace. Your Grace? Oh, call me Audrey. Really. Vampire queens don't have the same pretensions as human ones. Humour me for the duration of a cup of tea and I will assist you in whatever way I can. Well, thank you, Audrey. I've come to ask about the cult of many... You haven't finished your tea yet, Maya. Now, do go on. You're up to something, and I'm dying to know what it is. I'm here on Pitt's business. We're trying to recover an abducted officer, Martin Carmichael. <sighs> I may be a frail old lady, but I'm not completely doolally, my dear. I'm accustomed to speaking to one of the commanders directly, and usually they make an appointment first. I am here about Martin, but not because the commander sent me. Here. He doesn't know where I am. A rogue cannon? How thrilling. Do go on. Norris has nothing. No SCSI, no witnesses, no leads, and all the time Martin's... Still alive. Oh, probably. All we have is a name. The Cult of Many Faces. I'm not familiar with that organisation. He's a man, about... 35, long brown hair, theatrical manner. A rather infantile pseudonym, which, come to think, I have heard somewhere before. Would you like some sugar? Oh, no. Thank you, this is lovely. Hmm. Now, who was it who said... Ah, David Brannigan. That's it. You should pay him a visit. I just, I can't believe it's really you. <laughs> Do you still collect Digimon cards? <laughs> of course you don't. You're an adult now. <laughs> I've still got them in a box somewhere. I have to dig them out when we go back home. Home? Where do you live? Do you have a job? Who do you? Are our parents still alive? Our parents... It's just us now. I've arranged a safe house for you here in Glasgow while I get transport sorted out. We live a long way from here. Safe house? Yeah. You never have to see the cult again. But Zoe, the cult is all I've got. He's like family to me. Don't say that. I'm your family. It's been ten years. Why couldn't you have... Look, I know you tried. It's just... He brought me up. He looks after me. I can't believe you. Lady McDiamond negotiated the original contract between humans and fangs. And if you accidentally upset her, we might have lost her for good. Right, I think we're almost there. Where? The Tooth and Claw. A bar? I don't think that's a good idea. Lady McDiamond told me to check in with David Brannigan. Then, and th I really don't think it's a good idea. I've been given a lead, and I've got to follow it. 
That's what being a pets officer is all about. No, that's what being a maverick is about, Maya. Look, we'll call the commander and find out what he wants us to do next. My partner is in danger. Martin's life is in danger. I think it's such a shame for you to be involved in this case when it's so personal to you. You wouldn't. The commander would take me off the case altogether. Look, go to the gym, go home, go get drunk if you must, in a different bar. And tomorrow we can talk about this rationally. Right, you go home to your perfect family. I'll see you tomorrow. My lady, this is a unique opportunity. It really is in all our best interest to take it. The opportunity to murder a pits officer, an agent of the state, and set back progress by at least half a century. Brannigan has an army of wolves across Britain, ready to ride at his command. He has 2,000 of them. Hardly enough to start an effective revolution. True, true. But if you were to say, call on the Council of Vampires... <laughs> Funny, aren't they? The differences between those who become immortal and those who were born to it. You have no foresight. My lady, I have foresight enough to know that Brannigan won't wait for you. Then Brannigan and his army will be slaughtered. Why should we care? It means but a century or so to bide our time. While the mortals forget how strong we are, that we are their natural predators, we will multiply, sheltered by their diplomacy, while they grow ever weaker, thin and emaciated, like the sheep they will truly be when the new order comes. Why risk everything, my dear Struan, when we need only wait and be certain of victory? My lady, there really isn't much left of Struan in here. We've had our fun with him for quite some time, but I think I can still hear him. Do, do you miss him? Do, do you want me to get him for you? Mm. Have you killed the boy yet? Marty? Well, I have a special interest in Marty. He's a, he's a pets officer and I have big plans. I, I think we can have some fun with them. Ah, oh. dinner time, dear. You stay away from me. I'm one of the original vampires, you know. It's a great honor for you, my dear. I'm looking for David. She's behind you. Didn't think I'd let you drown your sorrows on your own, did you? My round. You don't have to do this, Alexis. I haven't for five years now. My support group, they'll be able we to We won't help. need support groups when the new order comes. It's unnatural for us to suppress our animal natures. It's the kind thing to do. You'll feel wonderful, trust me. We've evolved, Zoe. You and I both. Vampire werewolf hybrids. Humans are like chickens to us. Useful, but disposable. You don't believe that. Whoever he is, he's a person with feelings and family. Lady McDermott, you can't. Oh, I can. My powers you wouldn't believe. And if I don't use them, they'll take over. It's an assassination, a political assassination. I don't see why the cult shouldn't get something out of it too. It's a lot of admin organizing a killing spree. Couldn't do it on my own. That's why you don't want to leave them. I, I can help. You don't have to do this, Alexis. I'm sorry. I'm just not strong enough to stop. 
The architect said it was going to be about 15 months, but Ali spoke to the builders, and I'm sure it's mildly homophobic or something. But if that means we get our kitchen completed before Christmas, then you won't catch me coming. What's your most popular shot? Eh, uh, I'm going to the loo. This is a private ceremony. I have this room booked. Don't be ridiculous. I'm a pure blood. I could snap a baby wolf like you in two, even with a full moon. I don't need a full moon. But how? Who put you up to this? The revolution can only have one leader, and you are not him. The cult. Oh, stupid boy! Always rushing! Drinks aren't appreciated. But what's a nice girl like you doing in a fang bar like this? Bad day. You know, not all humans know what it's like to see someone's life fade from their body. And to know it's you that caused it. <laughs> and you do, do you? I will. Have you seen the news? Carmichael, the missing pits officer. It's my ex. I only joined the pits because of me. Well, they'll rescue and carry out, they always do. I'm not sure. We've really got nothing. Maya, we don't talk about ongoing it's investigations. It's a nonsense name, isn't it? The Cult of Many Faces. Maya. Well, you've come to the right place to mourn. You'd think these would make a difference. You know, my mother was killed by a peace officer. Just like you. She stole a chicken from the guy in the bins of a supermarket. I was 10 years old. Do you know anything about them? The cult? Oh, that sounds like a made up name to me. Come on, Maya, it's time to go home. You're, you're telling up. me you're the leader of the werewolf resistance and you haven't heard of them? Listen to your friend. You're a sloppy drunk. Do you, do you think you're such a hero, don't you? And you're sitting here crying about how werewolves are so oppressed by you sipping your wolf splain cocktails. And, and we're out there risking our lives for your safety. You've never had one of my kind in your life. Oh, I wonder why that is. Maya, please don't. And no one is leaving here until I find out who the cult is and what they want with Martin. And yes, these are silver bullets. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Still an example of how werewolves aren't oppressed. Just talk. I've got nothing to say to you. <sighs> For Christ's sake. Sit. 
They'll have forgotten about it in two weeks. The Minister of Justice is already trying to shut us down. This is exactly the sort We're of thing... Wallace, not PR. If we lose public support, if the spiders are reformed, oh, then... Oh, yeah. Grace, can you contact head office? Ask them to send us some sort of a, a press specialist. Yes, sir. Maya. Badge. Hello. You need all hands on deck, sir. Phone duty. Now. And don't talk to me for a while, all right? Yes, sir. Pit's office, which department, please? I have some information I'd like to share about Lycan A202. Her victims aren't random, and I know who's on her list. Marty. Marty. Oh, Marty. Marty, come on. You must be getting oh so hungry by now. I feel like I haven't eaten in years. Oh, well, you're in luck because you're our first contestant on a very exciting game of life and death. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Questions, questions, Marty. This is show business. Try and act professional. No one's above getting recast. This is Hollywood, sweetheart. You've been bitten by a vampire. And our wonderful producers have provided you with a virgin. Ooh. And virgins are very, very expensive with the pound the way it is. I mean, think of it. It's like the difference between champagne and prosecco. Oh, you're sick. <laughs> oh, baby, you have no idea. <laughs> Here's how it works, Marty. You have to drink every last drop of this virgin's blood. But if you do, you're going to win the best prize of all. Eternal life. Ooh. But if you fail, that little present the vampire left you. A vampire soul gnarling, shredding, eating away inside of you. That's going to get oh so hungry. And it'll be you that dies. Oh. But we don't want that. I'm gonna give you 24 hours. Do we think you can do it, boys and girls? Our studio audience are waiting at home. They're rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. You're my guy, Murray. Ah! Will he be able to do it, ladies and gentlemen? We don't know. Make sure to check out on the next exciting episode of Countdown. Ba 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 what do we think? Check the gate. That was good. I was wonderful. You think you do it? Mike, did you like it? I liked it. I liked it. What do you think? Another take? Another take? Another take? Was that good? You were masterful. Maya's gonna flip when she sees this. <laughs>